Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in a while because something's going on with me uploading my videos according to YouTube. My videos after all that editing is way too long which and it rejects it which I don't think is fair because I've seen videos that are two hours long and I, mine's only like 15 minutes. Um, well spent 15 minutes for you guys. Um, but I did want to do this video unedited of course and see if I can at least put something up there for you guys to watch until I can figure this out. Um, I did want to cover this, the reason why my hair is up and the reason why I have this sweater on is because I want it to really stand out. I dyed my hair. My friends, you guys have already seen it, the friends I hang out with at school, my family and all that, but you guys haven't seen it unless you're on my Facebook page. Um, my hair is dyed, uh, or on my, uh, makeup page. I dyed my hair. It doesn't look like it right now because it's just my brown in the front, but you got a little sneak peek back here. I didn't do my whole hair this color for the reason that I've had it that color before my whole head, and it's not easy to maintain, and right now I can't really, I can't really go through that. That's a lot of time, and then time is what I don't have. So I just did it on the tips, which I think came out perfect. It gives me the color that I've been, like, missing, and... It just I think it's super cute, especially yesterday I had my hair really curly with it, so I love it. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys. Check that out. Oh, my hair looks insane. <laughs> I had it up in that ponytail. I know it was curly yesterday, so. My hair's a little big right now because of the curls that I had on yesterday. But, and also I just had it in a bun this whole time. As you can see, it is red on the tips. Magical, isn't it? Um, I did this pretty easy. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys really quick how I did this. I had bleach left over from when I dyed my hair red, my whole head red originally. So I bleached my hair. I tried just the ends. I tried to do the whole ombre look thing. So when I did the red, it would be like more transitioned. Um from here down so I dyed this whole red went through my whole hair so it's like hint of red on the brown so it won't look totally just like blocked because my natural hair is like really dark brown um and then afterwards I used I forgot the name of the product um my mom bought it for me I'm gonna have to find out for you guys once I go back to Sally's because as you can tell well you can't tell because you don't know what it looked like originally but originally it was like Little Mermaid red bright but like soft it was like more silky um, satiny red instead of like a, a matte red uh, so I have to go back and get more dye to brighten this up it got a little orange on me which I don't I don't hate it it's just I wanted the bright color that I had originally um, but I have used before splat I don't suggest splat I got it at CVS but I had that on my whole head because that bleeds out a lot I mean yeah the color stays super bright for a long time but it bleeds like crazy like you just step outside i live in my in florida i live in miami and as soon as i step outside you know how it's hot uh, my neck is red i go like this my hands are red my fingernails were always red all the time because like you see i touch my hair a lot so my fingers got red my school shirt was red all over it was just terrible um but i do have to say that the pigmentation is nice but the bleeding i don't appreciate um but this color, I mean, it's nice, but it did fade kind of quick, which I don't understand why it would have faded so quickly, since it was a permanent, and the other one was a semi-permanent. A splat semi-permanent lasts longer than this permanent, so I don't know why. Maybe there's something wrong, I don't know. And then I wash my hair as often. I wash my hair, like, maybe once a week. It may sound gross, but that's necessary. When you have red hair, you have to do that. That's the only way you can keep it red. Um, but I do suggest, like, I, I like watching Luna. Um, on YouTube, she's really funny, super cool. I didn't get my red hair inspiration from her, it's just I have been wanting red hair since like high school, but I never had like the courage. And this is like pre the obsession of red all over, so I had red in middle school, a big red strip right down the center. And everybody's like, Oh my god, what is that? And then other people started getting it too, they liked it, but then I got over that. And then when I got older and I graduated high school, like about five years ago. I really wanted my whole hair red, but I never, like, had the guts, and then everybody else started getting it, and I was like, okay, I feel safe now. <laughs> Not gonna get the, oh my god, what were you thinking anymore, so, there you go. Um, but, I had to use that splat, but, yeah, I saw, like, Luna and stuff. Um, she uses this thing called Magic Contrast, 
or Affinage, Affinage Infinity in Infinity? Yeah, Infinity, that because they renamed it. Um, it used to be Affinage B, but now it's Affinage Infinity. And she says it's really great. It's wonderful. I haven't personally tried it, but I mean, judging by her hair, it must work wonders. And her examples that she's shown of how it looks when it's faded, yet the part where she put the Affinage or the Magic Contrast is like still super bright red after going to the beach. This is a lot. I'm going to the pool. Um, I haven't used it yet. The product I did use is from Sally's. I don't want to suggest you that one because I don't know why. Maybe it's that product as to why it turns so light so quickly. So I'm not going to even try and find out the name of it in case that happens to you guys too. So maybe it wasn't my fault. It was the product's fault. Um, so I just want to show you guys. So what I do to maintain my hair is just I put uh, dry shampoo in my roots. Like a lot of people do just to maintain it because I do only wash my hair once a week. Um, I usually do it like on Wednesdays, preferably because my school, we have this thing where I go to Beauty Schools of America and we have this thing where we get services on Wednesdays, uh, done for us, like, you know, for working so hard throughout the week. So I wash my hair. That's my new kick before it was just I do it at home, but then I realized I can get it washed and nicely blow dry it at school and help that out. Um, get it nicely done there since I use color protectant shampoo and conditioner. Uh, what else? That's about it when it comes to my hair. I don't really do much. I don't use any heat. I don't blow dry my hair. I really don't have to. Right now it's just curly because I had an event yesterday that kind of required it. But I only curled it. I didn't. I only put um, my Moroccan oil through it. I have Moroccan oil that I had won in a school competition. It smells amazing. I totally suggest it to you all. I'll put it down below the name of it so you guys can have it. It's called Moroccan oil. I love it. It's fantastic for your hair. I love it. It smells like magic. I swear. Feels like a marker when I smell. <laughs> well, I just put that through my curls, and shockingly, and I never tried it with my curls before. I try to barely use it because it is really expensive. I only use it for like occasions that I feel like I need to like be like up here. <laughs> but I use it through my curls, and I have dead straight hair, like Avril Lavigne hair, and I don't know why, but my curls lasted. I'm talking about to like this morning. I mean, look, I still have. Like, that never happens without having to put, like, tons and tons of hairspray. And I fell asleep with it. I had done it the night before. The next day, it was, like, perfect. And then, I had, like, all day was perfect. And right now, I still have it. So, that's, like, three days of curls. That's insane. I've never experienced that in my life. And I was like, what? So, Moroccan oil. I, you know, I believe it was the Moroccan oil. It has nothing to do with anything new with my hair. It was the Moroccan oil. Um, so, that's, yeah. Uh, maintain my hair, wash it once a week. I use the marker to keep my curls up. Uh, um, I also use color protectant, uh, conditioner, and, and shampoo. It's gonna help maintain your color. Um, and that's about it. I wouldn't just to suggest you guys. I wouldn't really do more fluorescent red. I do like the reds with the orangey yellow undertone. I don't like the pinky tone just because I feel like when it fades, you look like a cracked Barbie doll. Um, I don't like the pinky tone. It tends to also be fluorescent and matte, and that's not cute. You can get that bright Little Mermaid red hair without having it being all matted, and you have to put oils to make it like nice and shiny. Like no, you don't want a matte, dry red. You want like a nice, healthy glow, red, all shiny and smooth and junk. So there you go. Um, that's about it. So I'm gonna put the link down below. Uh, put your requests, please, on my. YouTube channel if you want to see how I did my nails it's pretty simple it's pretty easy these are my nails thank you very much if you guys want to know how I did it what I use all that fun stuff please let me know in the link I mean comment down below I'm also going to put down my Facebook page you guys can like it facebook.com slash a sirens war paint uh and that's about it please I want to do makeup tutorials but I want your requests so please comment below Subscribe and like this channel. Bye guys.